How's it going, gamers? Now this... Actually... Hmm. How do I want to start this? This is going to be a completely different episode. There's going to be, like, no actual games of any kind of sort. But I don't know if you know this, but during March Madness, we've had all these meme-type brackets that come out where it's, like, shows or movies or anything, and the people have picked, like, what they thought was the best. Well, anyway... This kind of goes in with something that I'm already kind of doing is for Gaming Montage 2. It has, you know, shows and stuff like that. I don't want to say too much because, you know, it, it'll be up soon. Um, so probably get out before then. But anyway, this is like the ultimate bracket because growing up, I watched Nickelodeon. Growing up, I watched Cartoon Network. Growing up, I watched Disney Channel. Growing up, I watched all of these animated shows. And I thought it would be a kick-ass idea to go through and see what my bracket is. See uh, who would be at the top. And I gotta tell you, I feel like this is going to be a struggle. Because there are so many good shows on here. There's also so many not-so-good shows on here. But most of them are good. But anyway... I want to know what you guys think of your of uh, this bracket. Tell me in the comments. You know, riddle me about like, oh no, this guy picked Zoe 101 over Hey Arnold or you know stuff like that. But I want to know who who would you have picked and who would be in your final, uh, who would be your champion. Anyway, we're gonna start off right here. SpongeBob versus Chalk Zone. Chalk Zone was a really good show, but I'm gonna have to go with SpongeBob because I mean. If, you know anything about Spongebob, Spongebob is still going strong today. Spongebob up right there, it took out Chalk Zone. Uh, and they got the Amanda Show versus iCarly. Now, I never watched these ones all that much growing up. Uh, hmm. I mean, I think I remember the Amanda Show being okay. Uh, and I also remember iCarly being okay. Uh, so, I guess we're just gonna, well, first, let me, I guess I'm just gonna delete that layer and do it again, but I, I think I'm just gonna go with iCarly, we're just, gonna, we're just gonna go with IC, I, I mean, Manda Show was good, iCarly Show is good too, I mean, yeah. anyway, Jimmy Neutron versus all of that, now I know I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate for this, because I know a lot of people love all that, but I was not all that a fan of all of that. And I love Jimmy Neutron. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick Jimmy Neutron for my uh, champion right there. Jimmy Neutron moves over to the next one. Oh my god, this one's going to be a fucking toughie. Because you got Fairly Odd Parents and you have Danny Phantom. I loved both of those shows growing up. Oh my god, you don't even know. But I think... God dang, both theme songs are so catchy. I was about to say, but based off of theme songs, I'm going to pick this one. But I was like, damn, damn. Phantom has a really good theme song, too. Shit. Alright, I'm gonna go with the one I was gonna go with. Fairly Odd Parents. Um, Odd Parents. OP. I mean, I do love that show more than Danny Phantom, but Danny Phantom was a good show. But, uh, anyway, this is my bracket, so I'm just gonna pick the one that I want. Now, I wasn't lying when I said, hey, Arnold, Zoe 101. I'm picking Zoe 101. Uh, or 212. Um, what the sh- Oh, I forgot. This is a little bit off. Uh, no, wait, what the fuck? No, one. Alright, whatever. Uh, I wasn't a big fan of Hey Arnold at all. I mean, there are like some good episodes, but most of them I just didn't like. I mean, just being completely honest with you guys. Now, Drake and Josh versus Cat Dog. While I love me some Cat Dog, Drake and Josh are going to be the ones to win out right there. And I guess I'm going to stick with Times New Roman because this one started fucking up. Going with Doug and the Wild Thornberries. Now, I really never watched Doug, and I wasn't a big fan of Wild Thornberries, but I'm gonna go with the Wild Thornberries. Wild Thornberries. I mean, I'm just gonna go with the Wild Thornberries, but that one's gonna get kicked out fairly soon, because right up here, you're gonna have the Rugrats versus Rocket Power. Ooh, I love the Rugrats going up. I love Rocket Power. Rocket Power, man, that's a very underrated cartoon. That was a really good cartoon. Really was. Oh, man, I really want to give it to the Hot Durger. really want to give it to them. I really do. But I think I'm going to have to go with Rugrats. I'm going 
gonna have to go with the rats. Uh, I wonder if it's the rats. Yeah, there you go. Rugrats it is. Uh, now, this one, I mean, I think Sunny is a show that's going on now, maybe? Uh, but since, you know, I don't watch it now, I'm gonna go with Lizzie. I'm gonna go with Liz, right there. Lizzie McGuire is gonna take that one. It'd be, it'd help the shows I actually have seen. I'm pretty sure Sunny is one that's going on right now. Recess versus Phineas and Ferb. Recess always looked funny to me, so I'm just gonna pick Phineas and Ferb. Uh, Phineas and Ferb. There we go, Phineas and Ferb. Right there, we're moving on, we're moving on. This one's gonna be a toughie, right here. Wizards of Waverly Place versus Hannah Montana. Now, damn. Two hotties in both of these shows. You got Selena Gomez and you got Miley Cyrus. Miley Cyrus went on a very bit, eh. But then again, Selena Gomez started dating Justin Bieber, so that's also a little bit, eh. But I'm going to have to go with the show that I probably, between them, I probably watched one more than the other. And I'm going to I'm gonna give it to Wizards. I'm going to give it to Wizards of Waverly Place over Hannah Montana. Hannah Montana was a good show, but I don't think you can take out Wizards. I really don't. Now, House of Mouse versus That's a Raven. I, I, I'm going Raven. Because, I mean, I only have to watch House of Mouse when I have little ones over. You know, whenever they're over. And you know, if we're at my grandparents' house or something, then I have to watch it with them. And I'm just like, <laughs> kill myself. Um, <laughs> but anyway, you have Phil of the Future or Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Now, Phil of the Future was a great show. But nobody, in my opinion, can beat Zack and Cody. Nobody can beat Zack and Cody. And I just watched this Netflix show. I can't remember what it was, but it had um, it had uh, Dylan uh, Sprouse in there. And oh my God, that was, that was a good show or it was a good movie. You have to check the movie out. I'm not really sure what it's called. I know a lot of help, but um, it was good. It really was good. Now, Kim Possible versus Buzz Lightyear. Now, if it was Toy Story, Toy Story win hands down. Buzz Lightyear, I don't know that show. I don't know how good that show is then. So, I'm going to have to go Kim. I'm going to have to go Kim Possible with that one. Man, a lot of these are girly shows. <laughs> I'm going to get picked apart for this by everyone I know. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. Anyway. Oh, I didn't even know we're in the Disney Channel shows now. Okay. I forgot to even mention that. But uh, moving right along, we have Even Stevens and the Proud Family. Now, hmm. I didn't like the Proud Family. I really didn't. So, I don't want to pick them. Even Stevens, though, I didn't like it either. And I, I just, I'm trying to figure, I'm trying to think what show did I like more than the other. And I'm gonna say, I'm, I'm gonna say Even Stevens, I guess. Because, I mean, I know more. I'm pretty sure the, the, the main character in Proud Family is Penny. Uh. But other than that, I mean, I know Beans, I know Even. I can't remember the girl's name is in the show. Um, actually, I, no, I will go Even Stevens just because of the Even Stevens movie. Yeah, I remember. I remember more about the movie than I do of anything from the Proud Family. But uh, now we have Boy Meets World versus Teacher's Pet. I'm pretty sure Teacher's Pet is a show that's on right now. So I'm going to have to go with Boy because I remember more Boy Meets World. I didn't like the show at all that much. Um, but, I mean, like I said, I know more about the Boy Meets World than Teacher's Pet. Anyway, oh my god, that anime one's gonna kill me. We're going on to Tar Cartoon Network. We're going on to Tarcoon Network. Yep. Powerpuff Girls versus My Gym Teacher's a Monkey, I think that's what it says. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pick that one. So, Powerpuff Girls it is, because I mean, pow. pow. I don't really know much of my team, my gym teacher is a monkey, so, yeah, I mean, I really don't. Now, Billy and Mandy versus Chowder, I'm probably gonna get a lot of shit for this from people nowadays, but I don't know what the fuck Chowder is, it looks like dumb as shit, so I gotta go Billy and Mandy. Billy and Mandy, you're right there. Courage the Cowardly Dog versus Samurai Jack. Ooh, I know I'm gonna get a lot of shit for this one, too, because... I mean, I, I, I can see the style of Samurai Jack being so great and it looking so nice all the time. I'm just making sure this is working. Uh, I know it's... <clears throat> oh, Jesus. 
Um, I know a lot of people like Samurai Jack, and the art style of it is great, and the story is pretty good. I, I just couldn't keep up with the story. Um, so I'm going to go, and I'm going to say Courage, the Cowardly Dog. Um, now you have Scooby-Doo versus Cow and Chicken. I remember Cow and Chicken. I remember Scooby-Doo, but I remember the one that I love the most out of both of those, and that's Scooby-Doo. You got Dog Doo right <laughs> there. Oh, God. All right. Codename Kids Next Door versus Johnny Bravo. I don't know about you, but uh, I, uh, Johnny Bravo, it was. Okay. Now, Kids Next Door, though, I liked it. I liked it. There was a lot more. Um, there was a lot more about Kids Next Door that I liked about jo than uh, Johnny Bravo. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead, and I'm gonna have to put this down here. Uh, but I I'm gonna, I'm gonna put Kids Next Door down. Ed and Eddie vs. The Clone Wars. Now, I haven't watched The Clone Wars. I mean, I I've watched the real Star Wars movies, but I haven't seen The Clone Wars. So, I'm going to have to uh, go with Ed. Right there. Uh, Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends or Ben 10. I'm going to get a lot of shit for this, but Foster's was the fucking shit. So, Foster's. Fost. Right there. Dexter's Laboratory vs. Camp Laszlo. Dexter's Laboratory. Camp Laszlo was... Eh. It was okay, but I Dexter's Laboratory is funny. Jelu the fromage. Now I'm pretty sure that anime. I can't read it because it's so pixelated on my screen. But I'm pretty sure that this is the. Man, you can't even see my cursor. I forgot to enable it. I'm sorry. Um, but I'm pretty sure anime. I can't read it. But I'm pretty sure that's the Looney Tunes show. If not, somebody will correct me. But I don't know what 16 is. So I'm gonna go with. Tunes. I can't even put tunes. I'm gonna put tons. You know what I mean. Now this one's gonna be fucking impossible right here. I have people that are gonna disagree with me. I know someone's gonna comment and it's gonna disagree with me. I know who you are, freak. Dragon Ball Z versus Yu-Gi-Oh. Both phenomenal shows. I love them so much. Played the card game of Yu-Gi-Oh. Watched almost all of the seasons of Yu-Gi-Oh. It was a great show, great premises, had all the toys. Oh my god, there were some some part some sub part games with Yu-Gi-Oh, but I love it to death. But I think I'm gonna have to go with Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z, when those games came out, they were phenomenal, amazing. I love the show. There was so much about Dragon Ball Z that I liked growing up, and that, to me, that's why that's why it takes the spot over Yu-Gi-Oh. Man, I really wish that was paired with something else, but I'm pretty sure it would just meet up later. Teen Titans versus the Power Rangers. Now, if it was the movie, two of the movies, Power Rangers would win this. But I'm pretty sure it's talking about the old style. Teen Titans anime animation, not the new one, not with the like little pop vinyl looking ones, but the actual Teen Titans animation. Now you got Sonic X versus Sailor Moon. I never watched Sailor Moon, and I played a shit ton of Sonic growing up, so I'm gonna have to give it to Sonic right there. Naruto versus Mucha Lucha. I'm gonna piss some people off, but I never liked Naruto. Mucha Lucha though was the shit. I am the flea. I remember that show. That show was great. Uh, Avatar the Vast Ender versus I don't know what the fuck that says. So, you know what that means. Avatar, right there. Batman versus Johnny Test. Quest, Jess, Ingest, Digest. I'm gonna go with Batman because nothing beats Batman. Ah! This one is also gonna be hard. Oh my god, I don't know. Growing up, I love Pokemon. Pokemon was great. It was fantastic. Loved it. Tried to watch every single show of Pokemon, every single series of Pokemon, every single movie of Pokemon. Played every single game of Pokemon. Pokemon was amazing. It is amazing. But when I was growing up, I watched more Digimon. I played probably more Digimon. And Digimon is amazing. It really is. And I love the old game that was on the PlayStation 2. Like, oh my god, if they could bring that back in some sort of remaster, 
where you could get, like, from the Digimon movie. I can't remember. It's like Omni. No. It, I can't remember. If anyone's seen the Digimon movie, oh my god, I really want to own it again because it fantastic movie. Um, but it was uh, when Agumon and I can't remember, but it was like a little Siberian little little thing. They they their evolutions form together to become the big guy. Oh my god, that I I played that game because in the game you can get that big guy. I played it so much, I loved it. But I am gonna have to pick Pokemon. Pokemon I I played a lot more growing up. Played it a lot more growing up. I loved it. I still love it. I can still keep in touch with it because Digimon really isn't on that a whole bunch of uh, things. Um, so it's really it's a much harder to uh, stay with Digimon than uh, Pokemon. Plus, I remember back for a while, you know, Digimon was on uh, Netflix. I'm pretty sure it still might be, but the movie wasn't, and that was real. That was a real big bummer. Because, I mean, I really wanted to watch that movie and because you know, I didn't have it. But anyway, we're going to have to move on to SpongeBob SquarePants versus iCarly in the next round. And fuck iCarly. So, SpongeBob, right there. Then you have Jimmy Neutron versus a fairly odd parents. Oh, no. These shows are both so good. How? How do I do this one? Oh, my God. Um... Please reach for the stars to buy candy bars and odd parents, fairly odd parents, ones and wings, floaty crowdy things. Oh my god, this show, these shows are so great. But I think I'm gonna probably have to give it to the odd parents. I'm like, mm. oh no, I mean, that one's in, that, that one hurts, that one hurts. That's gonna happen sooner or later. But Odd Parents, they're gonna win that round. Anyway, moving on in Nickelodeon. It's, uh, what, whatever this is, Sweet 16. Yeah, maybe. Uh, in the Sweet 16. One, two, three, four. Yeah, Sweet 16. Uh, you have Drake and Josh versus Zoe 101. Drake and Josh, they're gonna win that one, hands down. They're gonna win that one. Um, hands down. And. Now you got Lizzie McGuire versus the Rugrats. The Rugrats are gonna win that one because, yeah, just just because I wasn't that big of a fan of Lizzie McGuire. Now moving down to the Disney Channel ones. This one's gonna be fun. Phineas and Ferb versus Wizards of Waverly Place. Gotta go with those Wizards of Waverly Place with Selena Gomez. Selena Gomez, David Henry. I mean, uh, what's his face? The little kid, Jake something. It, it was, it was, I liked that show growing up. It was nice. I liked it a lot. Wait. I might have fucked this up. Got it. Okay. So, I only fucked up this one. So, it's this one is Lizzie McGuire versus Phineas and Fur. All right. It's still going to be Phineas and Fur because, uh, fuck Lizzie McGuire. <laughs> I didn't watch it all that much. I really don't like Phineas and Ferb all that much, but I mean, it it was okay. But now we're going to get to Wizards of Waverly Place versus That So Raven. And guess what's going to win? Selena Gomez. Yep. Selena so Gomez is going to win that one. Hands down. Every single time. She's going to get knocked out by an anime show, probably. Um, Sweet Life is Zack and Cody versus Cam Possible. I have to give it to my boys. The the Sprouse Brothers because I love that show. That show was my childhood uh, for Disney Channel. Anyway, Even Stevens versus Boy Meets World and it's gonna be Even Stevens uh, just because I mean I'm pretty sure I said this before I didn't watch most, much of those shows and I mean I just didn't. So I mean Even Stevens gonna win that one. Sweet 16 over on the Cartoon Network side you got Powerpuff Girls versus Billy and Mandy. Billy and Mandy. No, hands down. Billy and Mandy. Um, got Curse Cow and Dog versus Scooby Doo. Man. I love Scooby Doo. I love I love the shows. I love the movies that they tried to make. And then I love the live action movies. But Curse Cow and Dog, there are so many things about that show. So many things about that show 
that just the art style was great it was creepy but like in a fun way I don't know but I think I'm gonna have to go with the do go with Scooby Doo I'm sorry courage <laughs> Anyway, we got Kids Next Door versus Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Now, growing up, I loved Ed and Eddie, Ed, Ed, and Eddie, and I think it's a dumb show now. I think Kids Next Door was probably still fun all the way around. But I don't know. I just have to give it to my young self um, that just loved it a lot. And I'm going to have to go with Ed, Ed, and Eddie right there. I'm just going to have to. Now we got Foster's Home vs. Imaginary Friends in Dexter's Laboratory. I love Dexter. I love you some Dexter. But I love Foster's more. Blue, a uh, big tall guy, I can't remember his name, that could play, that had the basketball. I mean, it was a great show. I love the episode where they went to the mall. I mean, I just love that show so much. Um, it was a great show. Now, you have Toons versus Dragon Ball Z. Toons to get their ass kicked right here. It's going to be Dragon Ball Z. The Z hands down, man. Z hands down. Uh, I got Teen Titans versus Sonic. Now, I'm gonna have to keep this fair. I'm gonna have to keep it fair. If it was for everything, just the shows, I would say Teen Titans. If it was everything, I, I mean, I'm pretty sure I just fucked up what I said. If it was just the shows, I would pick Teen Titans because I haven't seen Sonic X. If it was everything, games related, merch, everything related, it would be Sonic. But since this is about shows, I will have to go with the Teen Titans. I'll have to go Teen Titans. <laughs> now, we have Mucha Lucha versus Avatar. Now, I would probably get death threats by Big <laughs> Mucha Lucha. Um, but no worries anyway. Mucha Lucha, while it was a good show, Avatar was great. It really was. It was a great show. I watched all of it all the way up until season five, and I, I the last season, I think it's season five. It's one of the last, it's the last season, with Zuko and Aang, they team up. But, um, I don't know, for some reason, I think it was like Netflix or something that, like, they didn't have the last season of Avatar on there. So I actually couldn't watch the end of it. And it was weird, and I just remember one day I was flipping through the channels, and I mean, there was the last episode. So, like, there was all that build up to Zuko teaching Aang, I think it was. And I missed all of that, but I've seen the ending of Avatar The Last Air. And I know a lot of people, of course, who I saw on this list, but I haven't watched it. So, uh, anyway, Batman versus Pokemon. I'm going with Pokemon. I'm going with Pokemon. Mainly because I've never seen Batman the Animated Series all that much. But the much that I have seen, I loved it. It was a great show. It was a really great show. But I've watched more Pokemon than Batman. And I know that there are a lot of more episodes and movies of Pokemon that I love way more than the animated style series. That series of Batman. So to be fair, I have to go with Pokemon. Anyway, got SpongeBob versus the Odd Parents. Now this is gonna be an upset alert right here, but it's the Odd Parents because I just preferred the Odd Parents over SpongeBob. Um, I, that, I mean that's pretty much it. Now Rugrats versus Drake and Josh, another upset alert, but got Drake and Josh. Drake and Josh, they I mean that was a good show. I love that show. It was a great show. Oh look at that, we're in the Elite Eight right now. Face of Fur versus Williams Wizards of Waverly Place. Like I said, no one's gonna be able to take down Selena Gomez. And she and the rest of the Wizards get into the Elite Eight. Zack and Cody versus uh Even Stevens. And no way in hell Zack and Cody are gonna get kicked out of this one. So you get Zack and Cody versus Even Stevens. Oops. Or Zack and Cody versus Wizards of Waverly Place in the next round. Now we have Billy and Mandy 
versus Scooby-Doo. Now this is going to be an upset alert too, but we have Billy and Mandy taking the spot in the Elite Eight over Scooby-Doo. Uh, we have, I believe this is Ed, Ed and Eddie versus Foster's Home of Imaginary Friends. And looking at it now, I think I would prefer watching Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends over Ed, Ed and Eddie. Uh, now we're going down to Dragon Ball Z vs. Teen Titans, and I'm giving that to the Z, because I just love that show so much. I mean, probably the greatest show on this list. Spoiler alert, it's probably what's going to happen later. I don't know. I could change my mind. Uh, Pokemon vs. Avatar. Upset alert. Upset alert. But I have to give it to Pokemon. I, like I said, I love Pokemon. I love Pokemon. We are going into the final four after we pick these people that are in the Elite Eight. Now let's go from the Odd Parents to Drake and Josh. Oh no, the Odd Parents versus Drake and Josh. Oh, this one's gonna be a toughie. Ooh. Man. Man, really? I never thought that it'd be so complicated. But sorry, Drake. Sorry, Drake. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with the Odd Parents. I have to go with the Odd Parents. That was just a great show. It really was a great show. Now we have Wizards of Waverly Place. No, we have Wizards of Waverly Place versus Zach and Cody. And there's fucking no way I could pass up on. My guy, Zack and Cody right there. I love Selena Gomez. Make sure you what? Oh, but, Zack and Cody. That was the greatest show. I wanted to be those kids. I really wanted to be Dylan and Cole Sprouse. I love watching them grow up, too. Like, I never noticed it. It wasn't until, like, later. Not, like, college years or high school years, but, like, middle school years. But after I was already watching, uh, Sweet Love, Zack and Cody, I'd go back and I was watching, um, all the films of them when they were younger. Like, in, uh, what was it? Uh, Mr. No, Mr. What's that? I'm saying we're moving. It'll be up on the screen right there of the movie with uh, Adam Sandler and Dylan Cole Sprouse. But yeah, that movie. Oh my god, that was a great movie. For some reason, I couldn't think of it. Um, but yeah, let's put it there in post. But anyway, moving on. We have Billy and Mandy versus Foster's Home of Imaginary Friends. Ooh. I'm gonna have to give it to Billy and Mandy. I'm gonna have to give it to Billy and Mandy on that one. Love Fosters. I really do. That was a great show. But I do. Now, this one is gonna be tough. This one's gonna be tough. Okay. I think this is what I have to do for this one. I have to take out any emotion that I have for the games and the games, the movies, anything like that, and just focus on the television series. If I did overall which one I liked better with all the games and everything, Dragon Ball Z would be Which show did I like the best out of these two? Hmm. I'm gonna have to give it to Dragon Ball Z. Pokemon had its fair share of memorable moments, and it really did in the TV show. But if I have to stick <coughs> just with the TV show, just with the TV show. And it's just this TV show. Just the original Pokemon show. Then I can't think about any of the movies, and I can't think about any of the games. And watching Dragon Ball Z. At least Dragon Ball Z, right? Yeah. It's Dragon Ball Z. I own all of them. They're over on my shelf with me. All of them. 
so I have to give it a Dragon Ball Z. Welcome to the Final Four! We have the four champions. Nickelodeon got the Odd Parents, Disney Channel's got Zack and Cody, the Animation Show's got Dragon Ball Z, Cartoon Network has Billy and Mandy. Who will meet in the championship? Now, if you couldn't figure it out already, I love Billy and Mandy. Really do. But if Dragon Ball Z can beat out Pokemon, nothing's gonna beat out Z. So that means, who do I pick over Fairly Odd Parents and Sweet Life of Zack and Cody? Who do I pick? And that one's easy. That one's really easy. It could be Zack and Cody. Hands down. Loved that show so much growing up. Really did. Pretty sure I'm gonna be saying that about like every single show. Literally, quotes. Love that show very much growing up. I wonder how many times I said that. If, you can, if you've counted how many times I said that, let me know in the comments below. And I, I wish I could put emojis in there, but I'm pretty sure it's just me lasting my ass off. Lasting my ass off, yes. Lasting my ass off. But now to in the championship, we got Zack and Cody versus Dragon Ball Z. And there's no way in hell Dragon Ball Z loses to Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. I mean... Ugh... Seven, I don't know. I don't know. Six out of ten fights, I think Dragon Ball Z wins. But that's six out of ten. That's a little bit more than half. Sweet Life is Zack and Cody. You know, you got the Sweet Life, you got the Sweet Life on deck. And it says Sweet Life is like Cody that we focus on. But if, if Dragon Ball Z wins six out of ten times, and Sweet Life is Zack and Cody wins four out of ten times, they still win. They still win. So, that does it. That is my bracket of shows throughout the ages. Now, what do you guys think? What do you, let me guys, let me uh, know what y'all picked. Let me know who was in y'all's bracket, who y'all liked. And, um... Thought someone was home. But yeah, let me know who you guys picked. Let me know how big of a dumbass I am for having uh, Wizards of Waverly Place go all the way to the Elite Eight. Um, let me guys know. Um, let me know what your champion would be and what you think of my list. I'm pretty sure you're going to sh shred me the fuck apart. <laughs> but anyway, thank you gamers for watching. Thank you Wolfpack for watching. And I will see you guys in the next episode.